Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Minecraft video. And what I want to show you today is something that is not all the way complete yet, but I think it's complete enough for me to finally reveal it. So what I've done is I've always wanted certain things in a resource slash texture pack and out of thousands of texture packs I could never find one that just had every perfect thing that I wanted. So what I did was I took a whole bunch of different resource packs and I pulled textures out of all of them and basically replaced certain blocks with certain textures from certain packs. So I've compiled a resource pack out of hundreds of other resource packs. Well, not hundreds, about 10 of them. But um, every pack that I have used, I have made sure that I was able to do this, that the creator um, it had either said something, there was two people I had sent messages to and asked. So I wanted to say thank you to the people who made these packs because obviously I used your textures and I love them. They look really nice. So the goal here for me, oh, and before I forget, all the resource packs that I've used will be in the description box below so that you can go and check out the whole resource pack or you can, you know, just, I want to make sure that I put those links in there. So what I did was, my goal was to have a hyper-realistic, and also, I really want ray tracing, but it's a little bit out of my budget right now, especially having just moved into my own apartment. So I wanted a shader and, you know, set the graphics to a point where I could mimic ray tracing without having to go and spend a couple hundred dollars on a graphics card when mine can push it, so... Real quick, too, um, I haven't really, sh I, a couple of times I've mentioned that I got a new gaming PC, but I never really made a video for it yet. I intend to do that as well, but to cap really quick, my computer I use to play this is a Skytech Blaze 2 gaming PC. It has Windows 10, it has an AMD Ryzen 5 2600 6-core processor. 8 gigs of RAM, which I do plan on doubling that uh, here soon, but for right now, 8 gigs is all I need. And I run with a GeForce GTX 1660 graphics card. So it's not a super expensive or high-end gaming PC, but it is able to push what I'm going to show you today. Uh, for the shaders, I use Cylinder's Vibrant Shaders version 1.27 in the high setting. And uh, for my Minecraft graphics themselves, I have it set to fancy, maximum lighting, and I think I have all the details on, animations are on, uh, the rain splash bothers me, so I turned that off, performance, I didn't do anything with, quality, everything was normal, I did change some stuff to fancy, I kind of did also want to test my new computer and see what it would push. Um, I also cannot run this in full screen when I have these shaders and stuff on. When I full screen it, it crashes. So my computer can push it as a windowed mode uh, application, but uh, yeah, so if you have a crap top or some kind of crappy desktop, then I don't think this is going to work for you. I also do have it working with Optifine and fabric loader, I believe, uh, that helps also kind of um, categorize processes for the application and it helps things run a little smooth too. So let's uh, jump in and I'll show you what, uh, what everything is. Okay, so as I said, I wanted to have a hyper-realistic, almost natural, real-world look at things. Now the sun is setting behind me, which you can see to the left side of the screen. There is shadowing going on. There is rays going on now when I turn. Yes, it blinds the shit out of you now. Uh, yeah, that's definitely apparent. So, also the leaves. Can we just take a moment to admire these beautiful trees now? They're absolutely stunning. So, the sky. 
was a lot oh the ambient birds too I'll get into that later but there's different ambient birds that you hear in the background so the sky is mostly comprised of the shaders have some stuff to do with it but also I used the dramatic sky for 1.14 I tried several sky resource packs and this one is just absolutely stunning the placement of the stars the brightness of the stars the fact that they are different brightness I love it when the clouds go across it you can see they twinkle that was really cool the moon looks amazing in tandem with the shaders the lighting rays the just the lighting in general is just stunning um, the only issue I have had so far as you see further distances away it starts getting a little glitchy you see my fence over there getting all glitchy but that's like four floor four chunks away so you know that's understandable but it's really hard to see at night um, this is my village this is my faction I basically commentated a village built a wall around it they're stuck they can never leave they do work for me thank you they live for free have a nice day <laughs> so the lighting at night is really beautiful I love how it has a warm glow you can go into the settings of the shaders and change it you can make it brighter a little bit more dim I tweaked it a little bit this is what I ended up with um, I'm not sure if I can let's see shader options I believe it was under just lighting yeah you can turn all these flares and stuff off I didn't spend a lot of time going through all these um, settings and tweaking it but I did go in and change the brightness of the light I can't remember where I did that at, but you can change all kinds of stuff in here I'm gonna have to take some time to go through all that I can't remember where I found it but it's in here somewhere no that's not it that changes the RGB red green blue lights anyway you can spend time going through there if you really want but you can also change the brightness of the lights so the night sky is beautiful you can see there's real clouds that roll through when it's cloudy it also changes um, I would set I was actually about to set a thunderstorm personally but along with the ambient bird noises there's thunder and it's real thunder and it's so freaking loud that I have almost thrown my headset before because it scared the living shit out of me and when I'm on team speak and there's thunder I have to mute the weather for the game because I literally cannot hear people talk it's so freaking loud uh, but it sounds really cool like if I'm on here by myself I'm not talking to nobody and I turn it down just a little it has that rolling thunder and it's really nice it's the ambient is really good so I'm going to set well if I can finish typing I'm going to set my personal time today so we can hurry up and see the sun rise the lighting with that is very beautiful as well the clouds are amazing I absolutely love it the transition from the the real you know true blue to the lighter whites over here to the white to the pinks and the yellows the the coloring is just phenomenal so moving on down here on the other side of my faction I it's a mess it's an absolute mess but these are all the items in the game so far that I have retexturized see that ambient bird noise just comes out of nowhere um, these all these items are ones that have been replaced now like I said I would say this pack is about 90% done I'm not all the way done with it yet and it when I do have it completely done it will I don't know where but I will let you guys know it will be available to download uh, I will obviously not be charging for it I'm not the creator of these pieces the um, if you would like to you know actually invest in some of these textures you can see if the creators have a patreon account or a PayPal account and you can you know that's on you but I do not want to take credit for any of these textures uh, any of these shaders I did nothing but find things I like I didn't make this pack to distribute it I made this pack because I really really wanted a very realistic view of Minecraft for myself personally I, I love everything that I've picked and choose and it took me about a year to get all this together so far 
but um, I definitely don't want to take credit for it. Uh, this pack obviously is just me doing something I like and coding and, and making resource packs, but also enjoying it. Uh, I also was asked from several people who were testing it if it was going to be available for download because, you know, and there are people that play on our server, which server information down below, always accepting new players. Um, we're a small community, but we're a consistent community. Uh, so join us. We would love to have you. We have a team speak in a discord. So anyway, um, so yeah, I don't want to take credit, but I definitely uh, think credit is due. These are some amazing textures. So I kind of started to break these down into categories, but that kind of quickly got uh, screwed up. So I don't know what piece came from what, te what texture pack originally. Let me put it that way. So we're just going to start here. And I don't want this video to be super, super long, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about each individual item. But you see red dye is now in a bag. So it's kind of like in a... See, you got a shadow too. These shadows give your character a shadow. It's a... Uh, you can see the flower, and then you can see the tag. It's kind of in a bag. That's really cool. All the dyes look like that. Except bone meal. That's bone meal there. Then we got a blaze rod. Blaze powder. My shadow's screwing everything up. I'm trying to like look from the side. I love how they did that. That's really cool. Then we also have kelp dried kelp which the, the the texturing the coloring the shading in that looks really nice and then we have uh, gunpowder oh gosh I don't even know what some of these are anymore I as you guys know I just moved into an apartment so like the last several months I've been just working my ass off and not had time to play so it's just like psh, trying to get back into the swing of things here that's a lapis and iron plus like I said the textures are all totally different now so so here we have a jungle door and some of the textures too it looks fine here it looks fine in the uh, menu but if you look at my hot bar there's like nothing there except a little brown thin line on the uh, very far edge so you know some stuff's not perfect but hey it still works in game so I like the wrought iron in there and yes I'm a I'm a Steve I know uh, I got locked out of my premium account, so I'm playing on a temporary account until I can get in contact with Mojang, who are completely overwhelmed right now because they're super busy. So it's an email back and forth game that's been going on for a week and a half, so I'll just play as Steve, I guess. Anyway, Spruce Door, also same thing in the GUI menu. We have the Dark Oak Door, which I think is absolutely stunning from a distance. looks extremely realistic. Then we got the iron door, the iron fence. Let me get rid of some of this crap. I don't like having stuff in my hand. It, it drives me nuts. And then we have the trident, the totem pole, which I absolutely love. Oh, the item frames themselves, too, look more realistic. That was my goal. Keep that in mind. I want it to be as close to real life realistic as possible. So we got the nautilus shell. We've got bread. I believe that's flint. Yep. And then we've got the spider eye, the fermented spider eye, and the sweet berries. We also have a different sweet berry bush. We have, um, don't worry too much about the flowers that are in here. Uh, I'll show you over here in a little bit what flowers we did. But uh, over here is the flower pots. I want you to look at the flower pots. They change. And there's pot, I think the dirt, the pod sole is in there. That's the top of the texture for the pod sole, which you'll see in a little bit too. But the flower pots change shape and size based on what plant is in there, which is absolutely awesome. Also the ground, the grass looks more realistic. So does that grass there. We've got the gold pressure plate and the iron pressure plate. Iron looks very real. And we got arrows, bows, the crossbow, which looks awesome, the fishing rod and the rod carrot, the bamboo, the scaffolding looks very, very realistic now. And then we've got cocoa beans, all the fish in the buckets. My shadow is always in the flipping way. 
And then we've got the lava and the water. I basically, anything that was in a bucket, I kind of replaced because I got all these buckets out of one texture pack and I absolutely love it. It looks very real. And then the bookshelf also changes. Uh, if you can find the creeper in these bookshelves, leave a comment below and let me know where he's at. There's a tiny little creeper hiding. See if you can find him. So this is the anvil now. Oh, and also we got the leather armor. And as you can see, when it's dyed, it looks very good too when you have it on. Very nice. Very good stitching. And then we have the end portal frame here. Looks really nice. It looks like there's little dragons on the side. The obsidian. Oh, look at that ray. Look at that. That's what I was saying with the ray tracing mimicking. It's not exactly what ray tracing is. And I don't, I don't want you to think that you're going to get ray tracing. But for, it, it's the closest thing you can get other than actually getting ray tracing. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Sometimes, and, and look how it's cascading through the leaves, too. That's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. My computer would push ray tracing, but at the same time, it's really expensive. And I do get a taste of what it would be like using this pack and these shaders. So, you know, on a budget, <laughs> it works just fine. Look at that. It's all twinkly. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. Shiny. Okay. Enough squirrel moments. Obsidian. This is the record player now with the spinning disc. And if you look closely, that also spins. Frickin' awesome. And that's on all sides, too. Then we have the uh, note block, which this is really cool. When you hit it, you can see that it actually shows you what note it is and it also shows you over here where you're at and it does it on all sides as well too this is the new grindstone yep I thought so I forget all the names right now and I'm tired I worked 10 hours today I'm pooped uh, this is the new smithing table lots of tools looks damaged there's a door on this side. Then we got the barrel facing up, facing out. Looks very nice. We have the saw here, stone cutter. I just call it the saw. That's what it is. Now these are really cool. The blast furnace and the smoker. It looks like there's meat in there. The door actually looks like it's open. Like it's three-dimensional. Then over here, that looks like real charred coal inside there. Absolutely beautiful. I love them. Oh, look. A stray cat. Or, no, that's Ocelot. Oh, look. You can see their textures. He's so cute. See you later, buddy. Anyway, then we have the cartography table and the fletching table. Both actually have let me see I gotta keep setting it to daytime because like I said it gets really dark at night the this one has a backpack and some arrows some you know fun stuff here that looks really cool I like that very detailed and then moving on to over here we've got all the signs very very realistic looking also there's screws in the back awesome that's what got me on this sign is it looked real plus there were screws so over here, the sand is a new cool feature. When you place the sand, watch all the grass blocks that would touch this block. Check that out. It does the same thing with gravel too. Let me see if I can uh, find it. Firstly, it does the same thing with gravel. So it's really cool. I love it. And the new bamboo, book and quill, book. And the heart of the sea looks like a pearl. And then we've got the chiseled stone bricks, the stone, the sea pickle, um, a few different flowers. This one is the lily of valley. This one is wither rose. And this one is the corn flower. And then we just got a regular flower pot. It just looks like that when there's nothing in it. 
And then here we've got the cyan stained glass. The glass is, I love it, but sometimes it is a little reflective, <laughs> especially when you're like in between two. It's really nice, but it can be a little much. Now when it's sunny out, it's perfect, but so that's the panes. This is the clear glass. When glass touches it, when they connect, they mesh together, but you will see this on the edges that it's not connected to anything, but it still looks r like when you have a whole wall full of that, and then you have like, um, let's just use the gravel, you have a block above it, it actually looks really good. And then there's the blocks, here's the blocks of the colored, and we have, uh, I think that's the acacia, yep, the acacia trap door. Which, if you're savvy with, you know, connecting blocks, you could use this to make a really nice bridge now. Which is awesome. That's really good for tree houses or anything like that. And then we got the uh, jungle one here. And this is all the different concrete powder. And then we have the end stone and the end brick. Very nice, very clean, very, you know, uh, white, but still a little cream to it. And then we have the lever here. We have a cake, which in an item frame is what it looks like. And then there's one. There's several different kinds of cakes in this texture. I think it's just the four, to be honest with you. But there's a lot of different cakes so you could actually you know if you were running the texture pack and had a bakery you know you could set all the different cakes out oh look there's another one we didn't see give at player 64 minecraft hugs ha that's cute i've never seen that one that one's cute okay so that takes care of this area down here oh wait we forgot one more thing the composter which is absolutely stunning I absolutely love it. I mean, just look at the detail at the bottom. First, we got the swirls this way, and then we got the swirl going the other way. It's just, oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. It's so realistic. And look, inside, same thing. Fucking beautiful. All right. Moving on. Pictures. Okay, so the paintings are all different, as you can see. There is one that looks like a TV. And then I'll just let you look at some of the other ones here. We'll just, we'll go a little slow because these definitely need a little attention. These are absolutely stunning pieces of art that they incorporated in here. Very contemporary, very sleek. There's a computer screen. You can actually make a, something look like a computer now. And then there's just some, you know, odd ones and some really pretty ones. That one looks like a real picture, like an actual photo. This one's broken into three. Love it. And then there's just, you know, like that. That's really cool. And then this side. There may be some repeats just because we were, you know, testing them. There's this little fern leaf picture, which is really neat. And then there's like a city. And I think that was it. Okay. Let's go here first. These are all the ones that I want to find textures for and replace. Actually, I think I did. Yeah, I got the bell, but I'm not sure if I want to keep it. But these are all items that still need done. Like I said, it's not 100% complete yet. Oh, while we're over here, let's take a moment to appreciate these beautiful vines that the leaves actually come off of. That is stunning. I love it. I absolutely love it. When you look at it with all the, like, with the real leaves poking through it and everything, and then you get this effect. Oh, come on. How can you not love that? That's absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't even look like Minecraft anymore. All right. So, let's see. Where's the best place to start? We will just work from left to right, or right to left, I guess. So, we've seen the bookshelves. I think this is mostly LB photorealism. Real quick, too, I forgot to mention... Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I used seven packs to make this. Those packs were LB PR Reload 110, Life HD for 112.2, uh, Amberstone, 
cubed pack, 5.0.1.1. I already told you Dramatic Skies, 114. Modern Arc, R66, 113 to 144. Or 114, sorry. And then Monsterly at 128x um, resolution. So, and then the, the shaders were the Cylinders Vibrant Shaders. So this pack here is probably mostly consistent of the LBPR Reload 1.10. Now, when you if you decide to get this pack, here's the here's the thing. <laughs> I'm not a master at putting together resource packs. In fact, I'm still a noob, and I am learning things every time I do it that I didn't know before. So. To get this to work right, as you see, it says made for a newer version here. It says this one's fine. It this one's you know incompatible, but they're working. Obviously, you see they're working. But there's pack one, two, three, and four. There's four different packs because they all have different coding. Uh, oh, how do I say it? Because I don't really know exactly what I'm talking about either. The formatting for the coding is a little bit different for the different versions because obviously Mojang slash, you know, the Minecraft creators gave us new objects that need different coding. So I worked out, because I worked out of all these different packs, I had to make several packs to fit, let's say I have, you know, three different packs that all contain stuff that's for 110, I got to put it in pack two, you know, if that makes sense. So that if you download it that's I'm gonna make an instruction sheet yeah it, don't worry so slime block which is actually super really reflective I absolutely love it when you put them together they kind of just you know the flow is really nice and let me see I'm gonna set that back today look at that beautiful coloring oh that's amazing I've been playing with this pack for almost I don't know six months now with most of these textures and every time I play I'm still like oh it's so pretty okay ender chest black on the inside we already seen the anvil these are the different ones this is heavily damaged this is slightly damaged and this is a regular one we got the magma block here looks like real lava um, let's see, we got the Prismarine, let's see, regular Prismarine, I believe, yes, regular Prismarine, Prismarine Bricks, and the Dark Prismarine. And then we got the Feather, the Snowball, the Slime Ball, that's the, uh, Daylight Sensor, yeah, Daylight Detector, and it looks like an actual solar panel, so I love that, I absolutely love that. Then we've got the Iron Nugget and the Gold Nugget. Both of them look extremely real. The different saplings here also looks looks very real, like tiny little trees. We got the cauldron and the hopper. Very, um, I like the polished metal look, but it also looks uh, used, so it looks like a maybe like a slate metal, um, something you know. I, I don't know. I just like the way it looks. Then we got the hay bales, also very real looking. The rope looks very realistic. The nether wart, the carrots, which have little carrots poking out of them. They're very flat when you look at them from the side, but from a distance, looks very real and nice. That's what they look like by themselves. And these are the wheat seeds, I believe, yes. And that's what the wheat looks like. Obviously, it looks different when it's growing. That's what farmland looks like. Very um, nice. And then the seeds, also very tiny. It is hard to plant sometimes. Uh, that's one thing I don't like about it. But it's worth it when it comes to the visuals of it. You can see what the uh, water also rolling back and forth the way it does. And I'll show you the water better later. And I'm trying not to go too far back at once. Then we've got the oak trap door here. You can still see through. With the oak door and dark oak door I already showed you. But that's what the oak door looks like. And then we've got the chest. 
That's the regular chest. This one's the trap chest. You can tell because this one has a reddish hinge. That one has a silver hinge. And then the banner also looks very real. Looks like it's consistent of fabric. My shadow is always dooming me. And now the tree! Why? The wood looks very real. Very detailed. Looks more like a real banner. And we have our enchantment table here. It says flowers also grow between stones. And I didn't realize this because when I'm in creative, it follows me. But I think if I go, yep, if I go into GM3, maybe not. If you look very carefully, am I in the ground? I'm in the ground. If you look very carefully, the creator left an Easter egg. It says something in between those two pages. It's really hard to see it because it rotates as you turn. And then if you're not present, it kind of goes away. So yeah, it's kind of a little Easter egg. I like it. But the bottom is really, really cool too. There was a pack I tried one time, and as a whole pack, it would be good playing with, but not to piece stuff out of. I think it was called the Norzitas Space Pack. It was absolutely awesome. So this reminded me of that, and I also really liked the majestic-looking stuff. But I, what I did do uh, when I took this out of the pack was I also went to the GUI menu. Check this out. Oh. MG, that is so stunningly beautiful. It has the beautiful colors, the galaxy, the book looks different. Everything looks different. It looks amazing. So we got the glowstone here. Glowstone dust. The lilac. The beacon and the diamond ore. No, that's the diamond block. Yeah, that's the block of diamond. And then let me show you... If I can find it. Well, that's what the diamond looks like too. I'll show you that later. Let's just, uh, jump boost. Oh, what in the world? I don't have enough power. I was going to show you what it looked like on, but I guess not. Anyway, and it still looks like a beam. Nothing crazy changed. This is the large fern and the small fern. That's the fern and the plant potter. This is the puppies yep puppies and here is all of the wood now I do believe from the wood back in the, the flowers I just showed you this is now the modern arc r66 113 and 114 pack so I'm pretty sure that's everything from the ladder over so we took the wood from there oak planks spruce planks birch planks which are absolutely stunning together look at the detail there's little knots there's little crevices it's absolutely gorgeous and then let's see if yeah if you just like it's hard to see with just one block let me go ahead and just put a layer or two here look at that I mean, there's just a ton of detail in this. Look at that one. That one's the acacia. And then we got the dark oak at the end. Beautiful. Now, these are the logs. Oak log. Spruce. Birch. Jungle. Acacia. Dark oak. And stripped birch log. So you can see they've got that little cut in the middle. It's very realistic. They got the rings. The outside looks very nice. Looks like real bark. Um, especially if you actually go up to a tree. Which there's none immediately by. It looks very real. You know, like textured. Okay. Okay. And then we've got... This one needs replaced. I had one, but it, st it stopped working. It was interfering with another texture somewhere. And for the love of God, I could not figure out where. So I just took it out out of frustration. I never got it to work right. So 
that's actually, before I forget, we're going to go ahead and plop it over here just so I remind myself that I need to find that too. The grass came out of this pack. The dead fern, the rose bush, which looks very nice. Reminds me of Alice in the Wonderland rose bushes. Then we have the cracked stone brick, the mossy stone brick, and the stone brick. Very real. Then the actual brick itself. Beautiful. Here's the sugar cane. Looks real. Again, with the sand under it. Then we have all the different leaves. And... Dang, I can't see nothing. That's what they look like sitting down, so they could actually be used very easily as bushes, which I can show you in the village in a little bit. I'll give you a tour of the village. So those are the different ones. Then we got the vines. We got the ladder, which looks like a metal ladder. Still sounds like wood, but looks like metal. Oh, this was a test. We have an elevator plug-in on our server. Um, let's see, the gravel I showed you, the grass, or the sand I showed you, and that works with red sand as well. And then this is the ice. We have granite and polished granite, which when these are together and in sun, I'm trying to get it, I know there's a sunbeam here. It's like real shiny. And the, the furnace, the regular furnace. That is an actual cooktop now. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. And then we got the cactus. Has a star on the top. Very detailed. And this is the blue, yeah, blue glazed terracotta. And when placed in this design, looks identical to like a marble. And on a large scale, it is absolutely stunning. This one here is the green glazed terracotta. Looks like arrows. I have them pointing in different directions. Also looks like tile. Then we've got the rail system, the rail carts. The carts also. I don't have any of those out immediately, but they also have been updated. Some stuff I don't have out that's in here. Like I know I think I have an Alicia Lane out, but you know, there's still a few things. All the apples got changed. This is the actual apple base, and then I did change the other ones as well. And we have the andesite, the regular stone. Uh, that door never worked. And we got the sunflower out of there. Looks like the leaves are curling. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I think that was everything from this pack. What do we got over here? The LBPR pack. So again, I thought that was... Well, then what was this over here? Oh, LB Photorealism and then the LB... Okay, which this one's also known as Life HD. All links will be in the description, don't worry. You may have to go digging for it, but... Alright, on to the LBPR Reloaded, which this one is for 110. Okay, so in this pack, the beetroot soup, which looks like it's in a real bowl. Then the beetroot. And this is what the beetroot looks like when it's growing. And then we get the enderpearl. Oh, look how shiny this is. I'm s so blown away. That is so beautifully shiny. Ooh. And then next to it, we got the eye of ender. Beautiful as well. The diamond was absolutely stunning in here. When you look at it in the menu, it looks super real. Then we got the diamond door and the diamond... I'm going to get that out of my hand before I teleport somewhere. Diamond door and diamond block. Coal ore, coal block. Charcoal and the coal, which also looks very real. And then here's all of the cobblestone. So we got the regular cobblestone, the slab, the mossy cobblestone looks very real, very um, spaced out too. When it's next to each other, it looks like it purposely connects. If you look very close right here, see how there's part of this main rock here over here on this block. See that? Same thing over here. They got the white 
connected on both and they got this now look there's two spots here let's place another block yep look at that it lines up beautifully so I love that transition okay and then we've got the wall the mossy wall and then this is the sandstone so regular sandstone cut sandstone this is chiseled stand sandstone and it has hieroglyphs on it that's so pretty the tops blank but it has hieroglyphs and then the sandstone itself so what's that one smooth okay and then the instone brick the bone block which you can see looks like porous bone material at the top the sides also look bonish jack-o'-lantern and pumpkin their skins the jack-o'-lantern face didn't change I don't know why but you know what I actually like it like that so I'm gonna leave it I think it's okay and it's just it's just a reminder of what the original Minecraft was I still take the textures off from time to time but I have really grown to love this texture pack and I use it all the time my actually my if you come to my faction without this resource pack nothing's gonna look right to you it's gonna look super crazy I designed this whole place based off this pack so we got the water lilies I'll show you something really cool about those over there later this is what they look like when they're growing cobwebs a lot thinner more real the end rod which is beautiful and let's see we're going too far this way let's go this way so we got the mushrooms the mushrooms in the pots we got the mushroom stew also very real looking and redstone dust didn't work I gotta take that out the diamond this is the bottle of enchanting the emerald the lapis and I already showed you those two I don't know why they're over there either so we got the daisy and each one the back is the ones that are planted into the ground and the front are the ones in the pots so we've got a daisy here, we've got the pink tulip, white tulip, yellow tulip, red tulip, I think this is the blue orchid, yep, that's the blue orchid, and this is the dandelion. We also took the workbench material from there, the armor stand, which looks more realistic. Then we have the clock. Look how cool that is. There's like a zombie and a creeper and a, a Steve in bed, and then on the daytime. I mean, that's so cool. And yeah, it still works. That's freaking awesome. I love it. The compass, also beautiful as well. We got a shield. We've got, I think those are pumpkin seeds. Nope, those are wheat seeds again. We got the gold nugget. Pumpkin seeds there, and melon seeds. We get the egg, lapis block, gold ore, redstone ore, lapis ore. I need to get an iron ore block. I've left that there, so I remind myself. That's the only one I don't I don't have. And the, it looked really stupid on the actual thing. I thought I could. I still haven't found one I like. And then we have the emerald ore with the emerald block. Moving to this side, we'll just swoop back around. Polished diorite, polished granite. We've got the polished andesite, one of my favorites, the iron block. Look, it actually has the indentation around it. It looks so 3D, it's so cool. Same with the gold block. Gold ore next to it. Grass block. I think this is the dirt, coarse dirt. And Podsole. Podsole is another one of those blocks that connect. It's glitching right now because I'm running like 30 programs. If I didn't have all this stuff going, it, it doesn't do that. See how it spreads? It looks so beautiful under trees. Oh my gosh. And then we have the redstone lamp here. The gas tier. The magma cream. Redstone lamp. Dragon's Breath, Nether Quartz Ore, and Nether Quartz, which is beautiful, one of my favorites as well. Then we have the Purpur, this is the planted version, very galaxy purple looking, very beautiful, it actually looks like it sparkles when the sun's on it, see? It's absolutely beautiful. 
that's what it looks like in the frames. That's the popped. And then we'll swoop this way. These are all the records. They look more real now. And I already showed you the record player over there. We got a saddle. We got the saddle on the pig. And the pig looks different. He looks more real. Also, this is what the wood textures look like on the fence. Very nice. We got an elytra here. It's mostly black with a little bit of blue. I love it. The sea lantern, or is, yeah, sea lantern. Very, very, very modern looking in an all white house. It looks beautiful. It looks really good with quartz. That's why I put the quartz and stuff here. So we got the slab, we got the smooth, we got the chisel quartz block. Very nice, very modern and sleek. Like I said, you get a couple of these in there. Looks very nice. And then we got the dry sponge and the wet sponge, also very real looking. The quartz pillar here. The stairs. And we have regular raw pork, cooked pork, salmon, chocolate chip cookie, puffer fish, clown fish. And then we got this cooked salmon, glistening watermelon, regular watermelon, or melons, but you know, they're watermelon. And then that's the, is that the cut? That's the salmon. Look at that eyeball. His mouth is even open. He reminds me of one of those fish that sold like crazy in the 1990s. The singing bass that you can hang on your wall. Everybody's grandparent had a singing bass on their wall. I know two people in my family that had one. Then we got a cooked one. That looks really delicious. I swear it looks like a glazed surface. Mm, makes me hungry. There's what the melon block looks like. That's when it's growing. It has flowers on it. Very nice. Very whimsical. Wispy looking. A little bit more food. We got the uh, raw duck, raw chicken, cooked chicken, and I believe that is rabbit stew. That's what the, I took the bowl from here. That's the pies. Then we get the mutton, cooked and raw. And potatoes, poisonous potato, baked potato, which also looks really good. Regular raw potato, and the potatoes growing. Alright, there's the fence. Oh, the rabbits are different. Look how cute they are. They're so cute. Oh, adorable. I'm stuck. All right. These are all the wools in the back, on the back wall. And this is blue ice. No, packed ice. That's the packed ice. And then the nether rack. Nether rack fence. I love the... Look at the top of that, how it's, like, tiered. That looks so pretty. And it looks badass in the nether. Oh, my gosh. There's the nether bricks. Red nether brick. And, like I said, all the different wool in the back there's the I think that's the regular nether brick yeah that's the regular that's the red not much of a difference this is a little bit darker and if you can see it when the sun hits it it does have a little bit of texture to it it looks like maybe a little dragon scale ish and then there's the wall and there's the stairs more of the wool and I think that is it for the blocks. Okay, so that's it for all the blocks. That is pretty much the majority of this video. But I wanted to take a few minutes to show you guys the village and some of the other textures that you can't see without actually going out into the world. So, if uh, you're interested so far in any of the textures that you see or the resource pack that I'm showing you, let me know in the comments. Make sure to check that description box for the links to the actual pages for these because the creators definitely definitely deserve to um, hear how good of a job they did uh, gotta make sure to push other creators too that's awesome awesome work guys so let's check out the other stuff real quick okay so one of the main parts of this resource you know jumble that I have created was the leaves 
the leaves really got me because from a distance it looks absolutely amazing things look so real they move in the wind it looks so realistic along with the wood that comes with this just ties everything together when you're out in the wild and you're running around out there you know you got the sun in your eye you know you get out here and it's just you got the ambient bird noise you got these nice vines that you know you you can see these leaves look at that oh I didn't make it so that really got me the next thing that I really love about not and don't forget too, this has a lot to do with the shader and you can choose a shader of your own liking but I I kept in mind all the different pieces that I had already collected for this pack so everything that I'm using I have picked and choose to work together to create one final realistic result the water looks absolutely beautiful it's very reflective but it does it doesn't look like a glass mirror um, which I really like it is blinding sometimes when the Sun hits it at certain degrees and you can see right here that you can see the Sun in the reflection you can watch the Sun rotate across the sky which is really cool underneath is a little tricky it, it the swamp water <laughs> good luck but um, it's that's the one thing I don't like about the water but I'm willing to deal with it for the simple fact of what it looks like from the surface so underneath the sand as you can see looks like it mixes in with the other blocks which to me just underwater looks like the water's moving and it's just creating you know natural sediment looks really nice over here the squid is different they also have a texture update you can see they are more squid and juicy looking underneath their eyes are cute I'm trying to get them to turn every time I try to look at him he goes the other way come here there you are he's cute okay moving on I want to stay underwater for a few minutes to show you something the water lilies I was mentioning some of them have roots which looks really cool the coral is also different I know it's really hard to see underwater sorry I've kind of just gotten used to it at this point um, it's all different every single one of them got replaced they're more real and looking now the salmons a lot of the animals have different skins um, this is the salmon he looks very real actually extremely real he's one of my favorite textures that I replaced and uh, one more thing I want to show you is over here this is my little witch hut I'm gonna have to uh, force my way in the witch looks so cool look at her hat look at her hair look she's actually got like a real fur <laughs> scarf on you know oh, look it's a rat it's a rat or something oh it's a scarf with a rat on her shoulder she has a rat on her shoulder excuse you but yeah she looks very very cool looking and like I said the cats are also different <laughs> so that takes care of all of that Aww. the flowers the grass Oh, you didn't see those yet. Those are the azure ones. Little white clusters. Let's get rid of all this junk. And let's run over to the village real quick, because like I said, I really don't want a super long video. So coming into the village, let's show you the chicken coop because I really like the way that door looks, especially when the sun's hitting it. You can see the rays coming through the different things. Got a little chicken coop going on here. And then let's see. This is a good way to show you what the dark woods and the new... Um, stone I couldn't think of the word look like together a lot of people do those combos 
lots of bookshelves together. Looks really nice in here. Very cozy with the warm lighting. Uh, sir, the back of your chair is off. This would be ideal kitchen, kind of. You can step on this pressure plate, which you could get to match your floor if you want. You got barrels in here, you can store stuff. Furnace looks real. Hello, good sir. Who put that there? I didn't put that there. Somebody put that there. Who did it? Did you do it? You did it, didn't you? I know you did. Yep, see, he said it. Anyway, you can do this with a campfire over here. I would break the block and show you, but clearly he's going to fall into the fire on purpose. But you can put a campfire under there, and uh, the smoke will come up, and it looks like there's meat inside. Sir, you're in the way. Yeah, I know. Can you move? I, I, isn't that hot? That's got to be hot. Thank you. Whoa! What is your deal, dude? Yeah, get out of here. Run! Jerk. He said, nah, what'd you say? Anyway, you can put a campfire under here. Smoke comes up. Cooks it. I'm out of here before I start a fight with a villager. Some of their skins are different, too. Look, this is a fisherman. He's got pearls, a little fish. Cute little apron on. Fishing net on his back. The beds are different. They look more realistic. The lamp in the ceiling looks really nice. Look how the the rays go off to the sides there. I like that. Here's all the stones together. You can see that there's mossy mixed in with regular. Looks very nice on the inside. Here's some more different uh, skins. That is the novice. What are you? Oh, you must be a cleric. Look at his fingers. All right. So, oh, we went the wrong way. That's pretty much a lot of the changes for that. I wanted to show you the iron golems. They're different. Where'd they go? They're usually over here. That's what they look like. Actual iron giants now. Really cool looking. Look at their back. Very nice. With this texture pack, I have kind of made like an archery area over here. When you hit it, it'll light up. Uh, let's see. There's another texture. That's the shepherd. Um, let me think. I think there was a couple more things I wanted to show you guys. Cats are different. We all saw that. Look at that one. That's my favorite one. He's so cute. There's a whole bunch of different skins now. Oh, he's so cute. Here's what a farm would look like. It's very nice. Oh, the bushes. I remember. So, these are dead bushes, and these are regular dark oak leaves. Gives the impression of an actual bush. Especially from up here. Looks really nice when you're running alongside of it. And let's see. Yeah, this is the village. Everybody's kind of all got their own space. That's my house. Clearly, I take over the village. I get the biggest house. It was a tutorial I followed on, I think, TMSC's tutorial page. Awesome YouTuber. Love that guy. This would be the resource pack in a home setting. Look at the ceiling. I love that. Absolutely beautiful. I got the mirror. I got my elevator. It's quick as hell. That's what that would, this pack kind of looks like. And house. Very nice. Look at that. That's kind of what I was talking about. It spreads around. And, uh, 
Some of the other mobs change too. The look of them. That's what the pigs look like. Cute noses. Hi, you're so cute. Uh, let's see. The cows don't look too different. Nope. Actually, no, that's right. The cow skin didn't work all the way, so I took it out. Oh, this is the wood in, like, a uh, barn setting. Very nice. I think I have another brick. Yeah, another brick fence to go with it. Like I said, I tweaked the lighting to make certain things, you know, darker in certain areas. Oh, here's a nice little lighting trick I did. So, these are upside down stairs to make the barrier here, the wall, in a sense. And then we got oak planks. I've got a double chest underneath of the stairs. I also, underneath the pillar, broke a block so I could put a sign for a locket. But underneath there, I put glowstone. So you can't even see it. And it lights, the way it lights the chest up with the shaders and everything is just like... Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's kind of just cool looking. Oh, the mushrooms. The mushroom changed. I always like the mushrooms anyway. The sheep, nothing. Uh, skelly horses did change because the skeletons changed. They look more real now. It's like actual bone. A donkey. A llama. A horse. Another llama. I think that's all that's out here. This would be like all the grasses and plants and stuff out in the wild. It looks very real. When you get walking, like let's just let's just go out here in the wilderness. You know I'm wandering around and oh look, this looks really fun up here. You know everything just looks so real. The shading, the the lighting. You know, and, and mixed with textures. It's just beautiful. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've worked on for the last year. So I, I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please let me know. And I will let everybody know when this is 100% done. Uh, it should be soon. I don't want to put a date on it. But it should be fairly soon. So if you want to make sure to get notified of that, then you got to subscribe and you got to hit the bell button. Because then when I upload it, you'll know. So I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check these texture packs out as a whole from the creator themselves. Because all you're seeing is bits and pieces. And clearly a lot of work and effort went into these packs. So don't forget to show your support to the original creators as well. And once again, thank you guys for sticking around, and I can't wait to start this new YouTube journey, be out on my own again, be in my own place again. I can sit here in the middle of the night and make YouTube videos after working 12 hours every day. But, you know, it's what I love, so I appreciate every one of you, and thanks for getting me up over the subscribers. I need a little bit of watch time help to get back to that uh, that goal I have, but, you know... All you gotta do is watch some of my other videos. I have all kinds of stuff, so all your support's much appreciated. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Until then, stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Wash your nasty-ass hands. And use common sense, guys. See you next time.